Hi YouTube, this is Ambi. Uh, we will start talking about Python 3 from today onwards. So this is the Python that we're going to learn, not literally the snake that you see. Uh, Python 3 in particular, uh, I recommend and suggest take the plunge, uh, go for Python 3 because that is the future and present, whereas Python 2 is just past and a little bit of present most of the stuff what's what works with python 2 works uh, with python 3 and if you learn python 3 uh, coding in python 2 or 3 won't be a problem at all because 90 plus percentage it's the same just a tiny little bit of uh, uh, change in syntax and here and there right so let's uh, first set up the environment uh, now uh, let's go for python 3 shall we Let's get Python 3. Uh, right, go to uh, go here, and you can download 3.6.2 that I have downloaded here already. I will right click, run as administrator, add Python 3.6 to path. So that's awesome. This is the path, right? So I'm installing it here. Let's see what happens. Something should happen. All right. It shouldn't take that much of time. Uh, Python is uh, very uh, user friendly, uh, beginner friendly, multi purpose, a jack of all trades, and master of many language. It's kind of helps you with do whatever you want to do. The limitation only here is your imagination. Well, that is true with every programming language, but it is particularly true with Python. Now this is Python and we also need if you are working in any environment or working in a working with Python or any programming language uh, you usually will, uh, will have an IDE integrated development environment I the industry standard are most of the Python programmers what they use is PyCharm but that is kind of advanced for where we are starting so I would like to go for something which is very uh, tiny, uh, precise, and it kind of resembles uh, PowerShell for me. So that is what I uh, like about it the most. The current version is here. So I'm going to click on Paizo for Windows. And I'm, I'm going to click on Miniconda for Windows 64-bit. I'll tell you why. Miniconda is not necessary, but just take the plunge and you won't regret it if you are someone who is uh, trying to learn python for data science miniconda will be might be uh, the choice that you want to go for and also uh, it won't interfere with the version what you have so i will not install miniconda for now but if you want to go for that well be my guest so let's go for cmd type python awesome so we have python here right host no this is not it because that is uh powershell hello python all right so this is how we set up python in the next lesson we will take the first step in learning to uh, learning python thank you for tuning in have a great day